Hi, this is Dave the Oven Guy from Custom Design Chemicals. And I'm here with this beautiful BB Dust Pro, Baco Dust Pro BB404836 oven. And I want to talk a little bit today about what the oven actually does. See, I talk about what different parts the oven does, but this is what an actual burn off oven does. And they all work really similarly, and they, all the modern burn off ovens work really similarly, and they all have similar parts. Some of them might have chambers, metal chambers where the actions happen, but some of them have like actual stone and cement chambers where the burn off oven burn off happens. And this is one of the ones that have a um, that has a cement floor and a cement back. So let's take a look at the oven. This is the lower chamber of the oven. It's a box, it's a metal box that's insulated. There's an emergency spray up there. And down here is where you actually burn things off. You take parts, whether they're motors, whether they're ceramic rings like this, or whether they're any parts, and you put them in this lower oven chamber, which is either the main chamber or the process chamber. And down here, it operates at 600 to 900 degrees, depending on what you're doing. In the process chamber, we are starved of air, so there's no way that air can get into any cracks in the over here. And there's a door gasket on the door over here that prevents air from getting into the oven. It's very important not to have any holes in the oven. It's very important not to have any source of air. If your oven is really burning well, you also do not want to open the door because then you add oxygen to the to the um, process chamber and you might actually cause a fire. Now, what happens after the, uh, the organics are volatilized in here is they go and the fumes go through that little hole in the back over there. And that hole in the back leads to your afterburner or oxidizer chamber. Now, let me show you what heats those up. Back of the oven, we have the burner. Each chamber of the oven has its own burner system. There's a blower motor and there's a burner back there, actually. And this is the blower and burner for the lower chamber. And this is the blower and burner for the oxidizer afterburner. Now the fumes coming out of the lower chamber go into this afterburner chamber here. And in here, it operates about 1400 to 1600 degrees, depending what state you're in. And that um, allows the organics that are being volatilized in the lower chamber to come up here and, and burn off completely to carbon dioxide and water vapor. And remember, the lower chamber is starved of oxygen. So the burning down there is very, very slow, and you shouldn't have any flames coming down here. Now, in the afterburner, you have one more thing that's very important. In the back of the afterburner, there will be a little door. There will be something that allows more oxygen to get into this big afterburner chamber. And after the, after the, Pollutants going to the afterburner are completely burned off. They will go up the stack. And what should be coming out of the stack is just carbon dioxide and water vapor. So that's the basics of how a burn off oven works. Some of them will have a burner chamber behind a cement wall like this. Some of them will have metal tubes where the combustion takes place. But this is the basics of burn off ovens. This is Dave the Oven Guy for Custom Design Chemicals. You can reach me at cdchemicals at att.net or you can visit our website at cdchemicals.net or give me a call anytime except around midnight at 312-550-7083. And this is Dave the Oven Guy. Thanks for listening.